Hey guys, my name is Junaid Khan and welcome to Art of Arduino in Microcontroller Tutorials. So in this sec second lesson what we're going to do is set up the Arduino so we can start to work with it. So what you want to do is first go to arduino.cc and you're going to come to the Arduino homepage. Here you can just read up about the Arduino and, it hi and its history and get a lot of good information as to how to go about working with it. So to set up the Arduino what we have to do first is click on download before you do anything, before you connect your Arduino via USB. Depending on which computer you're using you're going to go to this section over here and click here in this example I'm going to click Windows. It's going to want to download an 80 megabyte file so we can go ahead and save that to our desktop. Once you've saved it, you're going to basically unzip it and it's going to give you these folders. Once you have this done, you're going to come back to this website and you're going to click on the Getting Started section. On this section, go to the Installations and click on your operating system. We're only dealing with Windows in these tutorials. So when you click on the Windows, basically it will just give you a quick overview of the Arduino and it will tell you how to go about connecting it via USB. This process is very easy. Let's basically follow all the steps. So when you connect your Arduino via the USB, you're going to get this Windows pop-up and it's just telling you how to go about pointing it to the driver's directory. Right, so when you get to the screen, what they're saying is just tell it to go into this directory and this is going to set up the Arduino via the USB. Now when you go through this uh, screen here, depending on uh, your operating system, this includes Windows here, you might have to do this twice for some reason, but that's okay, just point it back to this directory and basically it will go ahead and connect. So once you've done this, now if you have like webcam set up and stuff like that basically what you want to look is something that says in the ports USB port a uh, serial port mine says COM5 and basically it goes ahead and tells you to launch the Arduino so just remember this port so when I come in here in the files that are unzipped I'm gonna click on Arduino Right, so this is when I've connected my Arduino. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can launch this program if you uh, have it connected or not. But basically when you get this up, you're going to go under board and first of all you're going to make sure that you have the right one selected. Here I am using the AT Mega 328 version. And you're going to go on your serial port and select which port you're using. Here you'll notice that I don't have anything selected here because I don't have it connected. So let me go ahead and connect my Arduino to see what it says. So here I'm just going to plug in the USB and then connect it via... Now this is going to power up the Arduino. I'm going to close this and I'll just launch it again so it recognizes my Arduino. So when I come in here when I come in serial ports you'll see that it automatically selected COM8. So I had to set this up manually one time but it's, it figures it out af afterwards. So here let's just go over this program which is very easy. All these icons over here are the same that are on these menu items. This is new, so under file it's new. This one is open, under file it's open. It's very simple and this is save. This one is upload. So since I have my Arduino connected, I'm going to go under examples, I'm going to go into uh, digital, I'm going to go into blink. And this basically will open up a new window of Arduino and give you a very small program that it wants to upload to the Arduino. So basically it's very simple. This uh, program is stating that it's going to first initialize the variable 13 meaning that it's going to initialize pin 13 
it really doesn't do anything over here because it's just a variable then it's going to go through a, a setup function which it only does at one time and here that you, you can see in your Arduino we're telling it that led 13 is going to be set as output right so we're just telling the Arduino to turn that pin on and basically this is the the loop function and this is where everything happens so you can hear uh, see that anything that you put in here will always be sequential right so here it's going to uh, turn the pin 13 on to give it power which will light up the LED it's going to delay it for one second then it's going to turn it off then it's going to delay one second and basically it will just keep going in a loop blinking it so since I have this program up I'm just going to click this and here you'll see on the bottom it says uploading to IO board it's going to upload that program and here it tells you that this program was 896 bytes of 32,000 uh, 30,000 allowed remember the uh, uh, the 32 uh, K flash memory so this this basically tells me that the Arduino it has finished uploading and basically this guy over here if you click him it'll bring up this window over here but what this means is that you can type in a value here it's a way for your computer to communicate live to the Arduino so we can create a program to have a value in here and within the program we can uh, tell it based on the value the user typed do something uh, to the electronic component uh, which we'll look at later but that's basically how the this pr tool works and these programs here are really just called a sketch so whenever you change anything you want to do a verify and compile and then you should go ahead and click this to upload and you should take the time to just look through all these things here that they have just to get a good understanding of what all these are but basically the examples are going to be exactly the same thing that are going to be here when you do open they also come over here so we'll go through some of these to see what they do and here is the Arduino running that program you can see that it's lighting up pin 13 so it has a built-in LED with a resistor so you can get that example going but here you can see without doing any work all we did was use a program to tell it what to do every second it lights up so here let me just turn the light off so you can see that's pretty cool so I'll see you in the next lesson